Hi guys, it's 2022 and it's time for a tour of the Suarez Gallery. Come and join me. Welcome to the Emporium of Colour. And here we are everybody. This is the gallery and studios here in Stroud in the UK. I've got to be honest, it's a beautiful sunny day here. In fact, the weather's so good we decided to shoot the video. And that's not something we've had for some considerable time. So we're just getting used to having that bright shiny orangey thing in the sky. The great thing about that is of course you're going to see the art in some amazing light on this tour around. So let's go for a wander. Now the bit we're standing in right at the moment, well, in fact, all of this part of the gallery used to be what I can only describe as pretty much derelict when we moved in. Now, AD, who's behind the camera, and I've been here, I'm gonna say, coming up to 10 years, but it didn't look like this when we first came here. And over that time, we've done an awful lot of work. We've put walls in. I think this is about the third or fourth different floor we've even put down, but we've done all of that work ourselves. You know, none of this has been down to contractors or third parties. We've done all the hard work here. So everything you can see is entirely down to what we decided to do here. And I think it just looks amazing. And what a showpiece to, to put all these incredible works of art up. And it is really just filled with color. It's incredible. I think as you see, see some of these huge panels we've got above us with all the light flooding through and you get all these pools of light just illuminating everything. It looks immense. I mean, we love it, which is the reason why we're here. Now, I would like to show you what's underneath here. Actually, I'll tell you, this isn't the work of art. You might be wondering, it's what's underneath it. But at the moment, Project X, which is what we're referring to this as, which I might add has taken three solid years of our lives and a considerable amount of money, will be something we'll reveal at a point in time. There's a couple of these you'll see on the tour, but don't worry, uh, whenever, when we're ready, when it's the right time, we'll show you what's under there. But I can tell you right now, guys, this is proper groundbreaking stuff. Nobody's done anything like it, certainly not in these materials, and we're really looking forward to showing you at some point in time, but we'll, we'll keep that one under wraps for now. Anyway, here you can see more of the art. Um, if you are new to the channel or you're not sure about the materials, let me quickly explain that to you. Uh, as Aidy will no doubt have a, a come and have a look around and a browse at some of the amazing textures in some of these works of art, the paints are enamels, and they're made specially for us here, to a recipe that only we know, and the people that make the paints for us. And they are absolutely incredible. And I mean, 
just, well, you wait till you see in the back room because we've got even more light in there. So that's coming up in just a few moments, but the paints really are in the center of everything that we do here. The amazing way we can manipulate them really knows no bounds. And AD comes up with some amazing ideas and translates them into tools and into machines. And we're gonna go and have a look at those as well in a few minutes time. Come and take a seat <laughs> on our lovely, lovely Italian sofas. Uh, actually, to keep you comfortable, here, look, you might need some cushions. Guess what? Suarez cushions. Look, check those out, pretty amazing. Uh, we'll pop a link to our merch, including these, down in the description. Go check it out, suarezmerch.com. Uh, actually, they do make a really nice, colourful backdrop to these sofas, to be honest. And I guess this is the part of the gallery where you can just come sit down, have a relax. When clients come here, visitors, we all seem to gather around this spot because there's a coffee machine. Uh, so we can all sit around and just have a chat about things. Uh, I really like this actually. And you've got tons of natural light through this side as well. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, anyway, this on the table. You may have noticed as we've gone around that also we do sculpture as well. Again, we'll pop a link to those uh, down in the description. Probably pop one in the corner of the screen as well. Great side project for us here. We've really enjoyed doing these. And uh, we do them sort of, you know, every few years when we can and when we've got the time. They're metal. So these are made of aluminium. Very, very difficult to actually put together and to form into all these complex shapes. But they do look absolutely stunning. We're very proud of them. And as we go around, you'll see they just look an amazing addition to the gallery. And then they're powder coated as well. And they have these incredible finishes on them. So that's another centerpiece. Another thing that we're doing. <laughs> as if this isn't enough. <laughs> Right, so there's one other thing I want to show you as well. Sorry, you're going to have to get up now. I'm going to show you this little room here. We'll just poke our heads through. In here, we've built our own temperature controlled storage area to put all of the timbers for the paintings that we make. I really like this room. I love this room, especially in the winter. We have to keep a vast array of lengths and measurements and sizes just so we can get all the different sizes of paintings done. But anyway, that's, that's where all the wood and timber is kept. Uh, oh, some more sculpture here. Actually, here's another interesting little thing. Uh, we'll do minis. Yeah, so you don't have to have enormous walls to own a Suarez original. You can actually uh, have one of these and they'll fit quite nicely on your desktop as well. Well, as will the sculpture. So that's some more stuff we're really proud of. I think, let's take a wander through the back room.
This is the back room of the gallery. I love this for all kinds of different reasons. Just look at the light coming through. So if you think that was colorful enough, then you step into here. Oh my goodness me, where do you even start? Well, I tell you what, let's, uh, let, let's, let's start over here and explain why there are canvases on the floor. If you're not familiar with what we do, well, I'm gonna show you how all this is done just very, in literally a couple of minutes time when we go into the paint room. But I can tell you for now, all of the paintings are done flat on the floor. Yep, this is how they're painted. You can tune into our live streams and any of the other videos that are on the channel and you'll see me actually physically painting on the floor completely flat. So when they're cured, this is where they sit and then they're basically stretched around the frames. We're gonna go and see that area in the building in just a couple of moments, but you'll see quite a few of these around the place. But that's because this is very much a working space and it has to be because whilst it looks fantastic as a gallery and it's filled with light and with color, we also have to use the space. <laughs> So of course, working on a big scale, what do you do? You need big floor space, you need big walls, you need big hangers, everything is on a grand scale. So that's why uh, you'll see canvases on the floor. Uh, these now that you're looking at, some more work in progress. Actually, while Aidy's having a look at that, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull this backwards so you can get a proper look. Next thing I want to show you, just over here, this is the board where we do all of the photography. We have found over the years, this is about the best light that we get in the entire building. So when we've got the cameras out, the tripods, uh, this is where it's all done. If you've seen anything on social media, thumbnail images, anything on the website, this is the place where everything gets photographed, pretty much all of it. At the moment, we've got this giant multicolor rainbow incredible, melty, beautiful thing going on, which has recently been photographed. So we've left that on the board for you today to have a look at. Down here, we've also got more work in progress. Some of these were done on some recent live streams. Uh, if you've not seen the live streams, I'll pop a link to the playlist up in the corner of the screen for you. Uh, so we've got more here that's just waiting to go around their frames, including uh, a few experimental works. Actually, do you know what? Just because I can, I'm gonna pull a couple of these away because I've got a feeling there's one or two in here. No one's actually seen them yet. So we might as well have a little look while we're at it. You may have spotted all the white sheeting. Well, that covers up some of the behind the scenes stuff. Let's go take a look. What you may not realize is to produce all of that out there, you need a lot of stuff going on out here, which includes tools. We've got a table saw, we've got a polisher, we've got a bandsaw, and not one sanding machine, but two sanding machines, plus a load of canvases rolled up for another day. This side we've got 
paintings, actually a couple that I can't physically get outside, plus other paintings which are going to go out to clients, and we've got some more flat canvases ready to go around their frames. That's some of the tooling, and now let's go have a look at where it's all actually stretched and finished, which is round here. And as we're doing our little walk, I'll let you show you the charity painting that we're doing to raise funds for the Ukrainian UNICEF appeal. Here's a painting ready to go around its frame. Pretty, pretty good, I like that one. And as you've seen already, with the timbers in the timber store, this is what the frames look like when they've been done. Small one, 80 by 80, that one. And that's what they're like. But in order to do that, you might be surprised to learn that we do need quite a lot of tools. <laughs> like that many. <laughs> the stretching process, straightforward, but you need scissors, you need staplers, you need trimming knives, you need staples, hammers, stretching pliers, an electricity supply, set squares. When you're doing them by hand, you gotta have the right tools. Okay, let's go into the paint room. This is where the Suarez magic happens. Here are some of the cool machines I want to show you. Now we use these on our live streams. I'll pop a link down in the description so you can go and check those out. Uh, what can I show you? So we've got the spin machine, amazing bit of kit. Over here, that's the pan, tilt and spin and rotate table as well. Oh, we've also got a fresh paint delivery as well. That's just arrived today. We're gonna have some fun with that on Wednesday on the live stream. These are my uh, tensor barriers. Look, original Suarez tensor barriers, all been painted. Marvellous. Got some canvases just there for another day. Some will go around their frames, some will return back to. Uh, also got the barrel machine. Well, that is one serious bit of kit. We love using that. Right, let's get into the pod, shall we? Well, this is inside the pod. Uh, let's start with down here. We've got a table, uh, it's a level table for, well, keeping the paintings level. The reason for that is actually use a very liquid paint as you can see there. And of course with all liquids, as soon as you start to do something with them, they tend to fall and go wherever you, you don't want them to go. So having a level surface is really important because it just maintains everything in an even way that I want it. Stops everything from falling all over the place. What else have we got? Lots of tech, lots of tech in here. Let me just quickly show you that. So with our live stream broadcasts, we've got four cameras, uh, one of which there on another slider. As you see, we've got one out the back. We've also got one in here. Then we've also got an overhead camera, which gives some really, really detailed shots of what's going on on the surface of the canvas. And then over in the corner, we've got the corner cam. I normally do things like intros, that kind of thing on the corner cam. Now they're, they're not woken up at the moment, which is why they're pointing downwards. And then as if that's not enough, We've also got Rome Cam, one of my personal favorites. So named because you can pick it up and roam around with it. And that gives some truly unbelievable shots, especially during the live stream. So we've got Rome Cam, and then the other tripod is for Instagram because we also do simultaneous broadcasting there as well. So if we take a little, little tour around here, laptop so I can chat to the outside world when we're doing the live streams, plus the paint bench, some would say the greatest work of art of them all. Tons of chemicals down here. Uh, big sign at the back, obviously. Lots of canvas. The canvas is specially made for us. It's a really, really heavyweight item. I'm just gonna quickly show you that. This is some which we're preparing uh, to work on a commission. But again, this is another part of the bespoke nature of what we do. So another piece, another material actually, that's just made specially for us. And that is the paint pod. I have to wear my breathing apparatus when I'm painting because the paint's really toxic. So that keeps me safe, fresh air coming straight over the mask. It's sealed in here so we can contain all the vapors, stops it going anywhere in the building. And that is where it's all done. That is the paint pod. And as you can see, the result of which is this amazing thing down on the table. This has been drying now for, I'm gonna say probably three or four days. 
and you can see the sizes that we work in and the colours. This was an incredible live stream that we had. Really super happy with what came out. And whether it's work for the website, work for clients or work for live streams, everything we do that's paint related is all done in here. Okay, let's go back out to the gallery. Now, there's a couple of things I want to show you while we're in this small little bit of the pod. Uh, first is the breathing gear. I just mentioned that. Let me show you what I have to put on in order to stay alive. So that's my battery pack, which is quite a weight. I know you can't feel how heavy that is, but it's probably about, about 10 bags of sugar. And then I have that pipe fed up to my head. And there's my mask, which if you've seen the live streams, you'll have seen that before. There we go. You may see me now you don't, so I have to wear that as well. Plus then there's all my microphones and all the other kinds of stuff. Behind me just there is all the production equipment that Ada uses when we're putting the live streams together. So what we've got down here, as we've just been into the pod, we've got various cameras. That's the corner cam we were just looking at. And then I can go straight to the overhead. What an incredible shot that is. And then I can go onto the slider, our PTZ camera. And then there we go, oh, that's quite a slow slide. Let's speed that up a little bit and you can see that moving. And that gives us another wonderful shot of the paintings. And that together with the fourth camera, now you can begin to see, you know, the kind of effort that we've put into this. There it is going just back the other way. And of course we can zoom and pan and tilt and do all these really, really cool camera shots as well. Uh, oh, there's the merch store, just happens to be on the screen. That was convenient, wasn't it? There we go. Lots of different things, phone cases. We've got t-shirts, face masks, pillows, cushions, drinks, bottles, you name it, it's there. We'll pop another link of that so you can go and check it out, guys. Right, let's get back out into the gallery. Well, there we go, guys. That's the 2022 Whistle Stop Tour of the Suarez Gallery and Studios here in Stroud. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Well, that's it for now, folks. Thank you so much for coming along today and we'll see you on the next video. That's it, the tour's over. What? You, you, you still here? Come on, out. Go on. Go on, I haven't got all day. Out you go. Go on, go on. Get, get out. <laughs>